Well, here's something interesting. Um, I thought I noticed a couple bees on the side there. And I was looking at the side of this one. Uh, how about that? Massive swarm. I, goodness gracious. Was that, was this an abort? And they came back under the hive? This is where the, uh, the naysayers or the people that don't like screen bottom boards kick in. Um, that is comb. I see comb under here. So they are already, look at that. Oh. Uh, this is gonna be a mess. And very likely a mated queen is laying in there. If they're drawing comb out like that, Oh goodness, this is gonna be a nightmare. Uh, definitely a first. Uh, now I'm, I'm looking at my other colonies to see if, uh, no. <laughs> uh, okay, I got any more craziness going on here? Nope. Okay, so I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this. I guess I'm gonna try, oh boy. Because there's comb in there. I don't want to damage the comb. I mean, I could just reach in there and grab all these bees and gently put them in a box. Um, they're thinking this is their new home underneath this hive. And that's a problem. Uh, of course, if I smoke them, they're all going to go on the ground there. I guess I'm just going to have to go get a box, set it up next to me here, and then slowly and painfully start grabbing bees putting them in the box and setting the comb in there i'm gonna have to go get some rubber bands and some empty frames oh man this is gonna be a chore hmm. <laughs> i wonder how much comb is in there i mean that's that that is a that is a good ball of bees right there because it they're all the way up through the wood here so uh yeah Okay, well, let's get to it. Well, if there's one thing beekeeping has taught me, it is to expect the unexpected. So, uh, <laughs> we've got a giant ball of bees underneath this hive. Um, I theorize a couple of things could have happened. It seems like the most logical one is I was pretty, pretty sure this hive was queenless, found no signs of life, put a frame of eggs in here 12 days ago. Based on that time frame, a virgin could have emerged and she's just now gone on her mating flights. Well, she may have undershot the landing and landed underneath the board. And of course, you know, thousands of bees followed her. They then decided, you know, she's done with her mating flights. Um, she's made it. And they now have decided that's their new home, which is why they started drawing comb there. So they've been here for a few days, if that's the case. Uh, well, that is the case because there's drawn comb there. So they generally don't do that until they decide this is our new home. So that could be the case. I'll know if I pull this comb out and there's eggs in it, then that means I have a mated queen and this giant ball of bees under here. The other possibility <clears throat> is a swarm. Mm. And then, I don't know, maybe they aborted and but didn't go back in the hive and landed underneath. That doesn't seem as likely to me. Or just a swarm from another colony just happened to land underneath this colony. That doesn't seem very likely or plausible either. Um, so I'm kind of at a loss here. Uh, my game plan, and I'm winging this, guys, okay? My game plan is to go through this colony first, pull these supers off, get down into the, the deep box, look for signs of life. Do I see eggs? Do I see brood? Has a mated queen successfully made it back in the hive? Um, if that's the case, great. Um, I'm going to disassemble this hive. I will set it aside on my bench. Hopefully the Mated Queen's in there, you know, if she's in there, she'll be fine. And then I'm gonna take my screen bottom board 
try to lift it up carefully and examine the comb. If there's eggs in the comb, then I have two Maida Queens, one in the hive, one underneath the hive. If there's no eggs or signs of life in the deep box, but there are eggs in the comb underneath the box, then I have one Maida Queen underneath and a queenless colony. I will then sh either shake the bees into this colony, try to find the queen, mark her if I can, and put her back in this colony, we'll be good to go. If both are queen right, then I'm gonna take that cluster of bees underneath and I'm gonna put them in a new colony in a new spot over here in my apiary. What's the other scenario? <clears throat> if there are eggs and life in the hive here, <coughs> sorry, I got a little bit of a chest cold, <coughs> and the comb underneath does not have any eggs in it, then it appears maybe it's just a big ball of bees and I'll just shake those bees into the hive. So I'm gonna have to assess as I go. And like I said, I'm just kind of winging this. This is a first for me. I've not had a giant cluster ball of bees just uh, decide that their new home is underneath an existing colony. So we're, we're gonna find out what's going on here. I'm gonna go grab my bench. <coughs> got a tote here in case I need to put those bees in the tote so I can go get another box. <clears throat> I've got a empty frame here in rubber bands so if that comb has brood or eggs in it I'm gonna try to save it and rubber band it in this uh, frame. But it's gonna get real interesting here. <clears throat> There may not be a whole lot of bees in these supers. They, they may be all under here. But again, we're, we're just gonna figure this thing out and uh, figure it out as we go. That's my game plan. Yeah, this is mostly empty. Some bees up here, not a ton. Like they just started drawing comb it's not they're not filling it no it's light so we'll set this one aside now this absolutely has honey in it wow some of it's pretty dark being uh for it being um spring honey i'll, sh I'll show you here real quick still capping it. That gives you an idea. A little darker color there for sure. Probably going to be able to tell when I look in this box too how many bees are in here. heavy oh wow Ugh. that is a heavy super that's probably 40 pounds maybe more <clears throat> all right Let's see what we're looking at here is there any signs of life in this colony?
tapped honey. Hey man. My buddy Jason just showed up to help me, so I'm recording one of my videos. So that's all B bread. Checking to see if there's any signs of life in the deep here. I, the more I'm looking, I'm guessing no. More B bread. Bee bread, food, honey. I'm guessing that was the queen that went out and she undershot her landing. Let's see here. More bee bread. signs of life yet. Oh, now wait a minute. Oh boy. Uh, we got a mated queen in here. I see eggs. And I see three queen cups. So I'll bring you around here and show you in the camera, but this colony inside is queen right. Yep. Come over to the side here so that you can still see. So I got a queen cup here. I'll bring it around and show you on the camera, but I was looking for the queen real quick, see if I could spot her. She's in here though. Nice single eggs, bottom of those cells. She's been on this frame in the past three days. Yeah, but she wouldn't crawl out of the hive once she's in the hive yeah. laying. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna go show the camera this. So here's three queen cups right there, see them? And then we got eggs in these cells right here. So she's, I figured she'd be on this frame. She may be on the next one. I'm gonna try to find her before I deal with all the bees underneath. Goodness gracious. There's another queen cup here. So this, I don't know, this colony's pretty swarmy. So let's see, check out the next one. bread I guess I'll pose this question for the experts once a queen starts laying in a hive she wouldn't go back on a mating flight again and then start laying this is just weird I don't see how she could have got underneath the hive after she's already been in here laying that makes sense to me. Let's see what this is. This feels heavy too. Honey and bee bread. One frame. One frame of well, you brood. Said only, it's only been two weeks, right? Per, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it makes sense that there's not a ton of brood in here. She's just getting going. She's just yeah. She's just getting going. But what in the heck? Let's check this out. Well, wait a minute. Oh, honey. Let's see what we got. Some fresh comb there. I'm just scanning for her. I don't see her anywhere. I don't see any eggs. Is it? Oh, yeah. More food. No eggs there.
still have three more, four more virgins that can emerge in this colony if they're still swarmy. I had one, yes. So she can't be. Well, if there's eggs, she's been on that frame within the past three days. So looking for any signs of life here, no eggs. Dude, she has to be on that other frame. Or she's in the bottom or side of the box, which is very possible. I've seen that happen. Try to spot her if I can. Not that one. She's got to be on that one. You she's yeah. She's got to be on this one. I mean. Let's take a close look again. Yeah, she's not, she wouldn't be marked. And, and, and that's a question I posed for the, for the seasoned beekeepers. Um, could a mated queen come in, it's only partially mated, start laying eggs, and then go back out and miss her return flight landing? I mean, I thought once they started laying eggs in a hive, they're in the hive. So this just has me confused. Do you see her? I don't see her. Flip the back over. You are congregating on that other closer to your hand there. So what I think I want to do so you could look. So what? You saw eggs on this one? Correct. Yeah, there's eggs. Right there. Look in the black cells. See them? Right there in the bottom. Nice single eggs. So what I think... I want to do is uh, disassemble, I mean, or I mean, remove this deep box, set it on the bench here. She's, I, if she's on this frame, I just don't see her. Um, and then take, carefully take that screen bottom board and try to lift it out. And what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go get another box because all signs point to a mated queen in here. So I don't want to, if there's a mated queen underneath, I don't want to put all those bees in here and I got two mated queens in here. So what I want to do then is put the bees underneath in a new box um, and see how that goes. Pretty calm bees, I'll tell you that much. I mean, they're a little jittery on the, uh, on the comb. I just don't see her, and I just don't think she'd be on this frame with all the food on it. I, just, I mean, there's tons of frames of food in here, so. And then what I can always do is, if I seal this colony back up, um, I can come back here in, say, four or five days or even a week and check again for signs of life to make sure that they're not queenless, that there is, in fact, a queen in here. And that'll confirm it. So that's the game plan, right or wrong. I mean, I don't know. This is a first for me. That's, that frame's pretty heavy. Got a lot of food on it. Okay. Okay. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and I'm gonna go get another box so that I can put the bees underneath in that box. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. I've got the deep box pulled off. Hopefully I have a queen somewhere in here. We're scanning, we're scanning this for her now to make sure that she's nowhere on here. And I see, I mean, I've already drawn comb underneath here. It's just gonna be a mess. We're just gonna have to make the best we can of it. Do you see her anywhere in here? I mean, she, she shouldn't be. You looking there too? Give these bees a little bit of smoke. Gonna send them, some of them scattered. I'm not seeing her anywhere. I'm just scanning. It's like playing Where's Waldo, trying to find a needle in a haystack. Scanning these while the eggs were. Where's the spider one? So the plan for this is to pick it up if we can without ruining a bunch of comb and maybe shake the bees over in this new box we have set up over there. Um, would you mind uh, holding the camera for me? I can grab it for you. I'm gonna have Jason hold the camera for me. Bear with us here. All right, here you go, brother. Let's see what happens. Got it? Okay. All right, so when I lift this up, I'm a little bit more, trying try to get them off the sides here. This is gonna be a mess. And it could be a little difficult to pry it. I may have to use my hive tool here. Okay, I got one side up. Gotta get the other side here, got the other side up. Okay. Trying to get around front. Oh boy. Are they attached or I can't tell what's happening? Some. Oh, the comb is. Oh, wow. Got, look at that. And there's, got, there's got drone maybe, brood. You got. You got maybe 40% of it. Oh, there. look at that. Look at that. So she's been here a while. So that is drawn comb. What a mess. Okay. Oh, boy. <laughs> Let's see here. So. What I'm gonna try to do is try to scrape off this comb. Um, man, I'd love to find the queen, but that's gonna be like a needle in a haystack. Uh, and try to get some of that comb and maybe rubber band it in a frame or two. And then I'm gonna shake these bees off into the hive, hoping that the hoping the queen is in there somewhere. You don't happen to see the queen, do you, Jason? Mm -hmm. There's cat brood, though. Yeah. She's there. Okay. All right, let's try to get some of this comb. Frame here. They've been here a while on the bottom. I'm surprised I missed them that much or missed that much of them. Maybe I can, it's my high tool over there. Did you grab, thanks. I'm gonna try to uh, carefully take this comb and put some of it into a frame here and if I spot the queen I'm gonna grab her yeah. oh, she tried to sting me so and this is sometimes why I wear gloves so she's not happy with me okay so I'm gonna try to we go grab the go grab the stand for me would you Jason I'm going to try to uh, pull this comb out and see if I can spot the queen on here somewhere. Okay, thank you, sir. All right. Let's see if we can readjust this and get some of that comb off. That's me. 
angry bees here. Would you go grab the smoker for me, please, sir? I'm gonna try to put this, <clears throat> get some of this comb, which obviously there's eggs in here. I can clearly see eggs. <sighs> what a hot mess. Yeah, just smoke a little bit here for me. Do you see her anywhere? I mean, she very well could be on this. I mean, if I could find the queen, this would make it a lot easier because then I wouldn't worry about hurting her. Out, bud. Just trying to find a way to get this uh, brood comb here. Trying to make sure the queen's not underneath there. I'm trying to find the best way to attach it with rubber bands here. The bees will fix all the comb. So if I can kind of get it clumped together here. Got one more big piece I'm going to try to fit in here and that'll be that. Then we'll have to scrape the rest of it. Which is a shame, she's been laying for a while. What? You find her? No. Okay. You don't see her over here, do you? Okay. Try to get this in there. Okay. Keep scanning there if you can find her. Okay. Bring you guys over here and show you what I'm doing. So I'm gonna end up rubber banding. You want these pieces? Oh look, right here, right here. You found her? That is her. Okay. Here, hold the camera up quick. Grab her. Where's she going? Marking cage. She Still go? got her? Where's yeah. the hive tool? She's right here. So. Good eye. Where she, is she? She must have. Yep. You spotted her, though. That was definitely her. Okay, where'd she go? You see her? Ah. Like a needle in the haystack. Well, we know she's here at least. We know she's, uh, she's fine. She had to have gone in this crack over here. I'll keep an eye on her. And I'll look over here. It'd be real easy to pluck her off here if, uh... There she is, right there. Where'd she go? Oh crap. On she the on the grass? Yeah. Hang on. On this piece of grass right here. Got her? No, oh, right on this leaf. Okay, I'll get her. Watch out.
Got her. <clears throat> All right, that makes it a whole lot easier. So here, I'll take the camera. <laughs> Sorry for the shaky footage. Woo. Get you back on the stand here. Yeah, that makes the rest of this work super easy. So here's our new queen. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark her while Jason's working on cleaning up that comb mess. And we may have another mated queen over there again. So regardless, I am going to save, I'm still going to rubber band this. Where did I put my, uh, can you hand me that red pen? They tried to save that one. See if we can fit that somewhere else. Thank you. What do you want to do with this? Uh, is that all honey? Scrape it off, man. Yeah, it's all scrape. And we'll try it's to, loose. okay. We'll try to save, we'll try to get all those bees in this box here. Once I get her marked. What do you want to do with this? Like, can we do it? Just wait for now. Yeah, just wait for now. Get her marked. Okay, got it. Well, nice job spotting her. She's a nice looking queen. Looks Italian. Get her to hold still here. Kind of squirmy. just camp out there for a minute and dry out so let's get where'd I put the rubber bands give me a couple of them rubber bands oh I have a bee that somehow got inside here so hang on Front end here. oh well that would explain how I was wondering how she got in there it's been unzipped the whole time that was smart okay And the, the good news about this is I don't have to worry about hurting the queen now that we found her. So, um, of course, I, I want to hurt as few bees as I can, but the queen's the important one here. Sir, try to maybe get this, throw that out. Get this last one in here. Try and invert it actually. And then get this, see if I can make room for this medium sized one here. Yeah, perfect. All right, now they'll have a reason to stay here because they'll have brood in here. So they won't want to, they won't want to leave it. Try to somehow keep it from, uh, I wonder, do I have an, is there another rubber band that, I don't know if that'll stretch the full. Yeah, I don't know if it will or not. It's gonna be tight. And then you can come back later and remove this rubber band. So 
not going to be the prettiest frame, but it'll work. And the bees will fix it. They'll start drawing comb on these others, too. So, yeah, just go ahead and empty that, and I'll shake all these bees in here. to get the queen in here so they'll start she should be dry enough and they'll start nazzing offing and the flying bee should there she goes so she just went down in there and get the cover on and all these flying bees should start uh, going in the hive Oh yeah, I was gonna put a, where's that super? Can you go get me the one that's pretty light? Scoop the rest, try to get, uh, let's take this uh, sheet of uh, foundation, scoop these bees up and put them in the hive also. Not that they're going to be too concerned with uh, drawing these out, but you never know. I'll leave this on for a while, so. Okay. And then let's uh, set this over here. So I'm going to take this frame of sheet of foundation here, scoop up these bees and try to get all these stragglers in the hive. Or at least flying nearby. There we go. Try to get them off here. Yeah, I'll get, uh, are they, there are a bunch over there? Oh my lord. Okay. Yeah, I forgot, we still have a ton of bees and comb over here, so. I'm gonna try to shake those bees into this hive. Um, we'll have to cut that out with the uh, hive tool, Jason. be able to put them in that coat and then transfer them over here. Okay. Still got a bunch of bees here. Let's get that tote. Is the smoker over there still? I just want to give him a little puff of smoke.
Uh, yeah, the hive tool. Yep. Yep. Now we're not worried about at least damaging the comb. As much, I don't know if there's a way to get maybe put this underneath it, and if you slough them off, maybe in there, maybe put that lid. So you've got that lid. Oh yeah. That's right. This one. Yeah. I don't think the total fit, but maybe we can just kind of get it to drop off in there. Okay. Yep. There's brood on these. Yeah. They just drew comb in between the four by fours. I can't believe we found the queen in this. That's unbelievable. Okay. Now let's get these bees over in the hive. Back and forth, back and forth. Okay. Some of this comb, I just don't have a way to save it, which is a shame, but I really want to get the bees in here more than anything. She's certainly laying well. Thank you. What a mess. Should we scoop up any more over there? I mean, it's so scattered. Is it? Yeah. Is the foundation over here? There's definitely a ton of bees in there and that that brood that's about to emerge is gonna be a big colony but man they just chose the wrong spot might have been a cast swarm that she got mated and came back i have no idea guys it's weird but whatever it's what bees do okay thanks brother Yeah, I'll help you. I got. So we'll. Uh, we don't know where the queen is now. Yeah, so she's got to be. Um, she's got to be in that deep. Let's. Uh, we need to. Did we scrape off the bottom of this? Yeah. Or do you have your hive? Okay. I mean, where's the hive tool? Is it over there? No, it's, it must be over here. It just had it. Oh, it's right here. Let's try to get that mess off if we can. Is it on this side or the other side? Okay.
Where's the smoker? Grab it. Let's, uh... Maybe several of them will just go in this colony, and that's fine by me. Where's the queen excluder, or where's the entrance reducer? Did you find it? Is it over there somewhere? I'm gonna check see if it's over there. We gotta get that on. Find it. So we should we should have a a lane queen in here based on what we saw unless that queen left and went down. Put it on there. Yeah. I'll get it. I got it. Yep. Thank you. Okay. All right. Whew. Sweat. And I'll come back and check this hive in a week or so just to look for signs of new life. Holy moly, that's heavy. Okay, thank you, sir. Got it. Okay, uh, I think that's enough excitement for one day. <laughs> we gotta put that other one back together, but, whew, crazy, huh? That was nuts, that's not fun. I don't wanna do that again. But uh, always expect the unexpected in beekeeping. So that's it for this video. Appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you on the next one.